Yes, we're back. We're back again in Train Sim. We're back to do another journey. And as of 10 minutes ago, I didn't have a clue which journey I was going to be doing. But nonetheless, uh, I think I found something. Um, so yes, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, welcome. It's another Train Sim Wednesday, uh, which doesn't sort of work. If you're watching this live, hello, good evening. It's Friday night. Now it's not confusing at all. Um, so yes, uh, Mad Northern Viking. Hi, hi Noz. That's still confusing. Um, how are we doing? So we'll click on Drive. And we go to Standard. And I found something with a thanks to uh, Larwood. Uh, all the way down here. Because um, you mentioned the Class 319 I bought I bought from uh, Armstrong Powerhouse. Uh, I've only used once. And that's not great, really, is it? So um, there's a couple of scenarios I might do. Might do this one, maybe one of the shorter ones um, in this. So 65 minute, this first one. Uh, on a warm May evening, drive Thames Links 319430 and... and X first cup to connect to 319441 on a rush hour fast service um, between St Pancras and Bedford. Actually, it's a fast service. Do you want that? We want a stopping service, really. Um, showery morning. I don't know which one's the best one to do then. Uh, during the rush hour, wet morning, it's almost it's got a lot of slipping and sliding. I reckon we go with that one then. My Switzerland. Um, we'll do that one. Because the fast service to me implies that uh, we're not going to be stopping. And the only idea of driving these sort of trains uh, is to stop, really. So we'll uh, we'll do that. Uh, yeah, if you're new to my videos, welcome. Train Sim is going to be a regular thing on the channel on a Wednesday, it seems. Um, on a Monday, it's something from Omsi, the bus simulator. On a Friday, it's alternating between uh, tourist bus sim and firm bus. However, over the next few weeks, there'll be a lot more tourist bus Um uh, coming up uh, and also it seems on a Thursday we've got a new series that seem that's uh, started uh, for the Thursday where I'm currently um, upgrading and racing on Morris Minor which uh, I'm really enjoying that uh, warm evening or wet morning let me think for a nanosecond well I, I made a decision I can't even remember which one I've done now whether it's gonna be a warm evening or a wet morning wet and warm how I like my tea Exactly. Oh, and we've got a scenario failure. Okay. Oh, that's not a thing I wanted to do, is it? I'm going to click on that again. I don't think I should have done that, really. And that's one of the F keys, isn't it? Uh, there we go. Don't exit F2. That's what I've done. Right. So here we are then. Uh, Bedford Platform 3 in this uh, Swiss looking uh, class 319 that doesn't appear to be running. And I can't remember how you start the flipping thing. And I can't open the doors. And the track IR isn't working. Um, okay, the switch behind me was on this one. Oh, I can't remember. Lighting on, lighting off. Um, I can't remember how you start this flipping thing. Was it? It's running. Is it? Oh, it's electric, is it? Okay. It's not running, so I've got no control. I'm sure. Was well, this something to do with one of these? I'm lifting this thing up. Um, I'm sure it's something to do with one of these. Need to turn the key. Shifts and W. That was the thing. Right now, is it running? It's going well, people. Here we go. Okay, now can we open the doors? Or are they already open? Why are the doors opening? 
Oh, I'm scared. Hi, right, guys. It says we're going to Bedford. Yep, we're in Bedford. This, this is definitely going to be a thing, isn't it? But why are the passengers getting on? Hang on, I've got to do the door thing, haven't I? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Door release left. There we go. Seems very quiet. Lights and destination. Oh, gosh, it's all in the flipping. Wait, that. Oh, I don't want to do this. Tail light switch. Headlights. Oh, there's a door there. Hang on. Let's Okay. Right. Well, we're moving. It... <laughs> The RA is on. Oh, what the? Oh. Um. Oh yeah. Okay. There we go. That was red as well. Yeah, I've never got a clue. Just ignore me. Chat amongst yourselves. This thing's too quiet. And yeah, I know I've got the red lights at the front. We've got to try and work that out now. Um, bright, the, the bright, the, the, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. That one. Wait, so there's a couple of red ones and a white one. That'll do, wouldn't it? Tail light off. There we go. But that's on the wrong side now, isn't it? Uh, should be that side. Yay! There we go. Yeah, well, I didn't want to drive this tux, but I forgot it was an electric thing. Hey, what is that? Yeah, it is. I'll just run a red light. Again. Yeah, I'm not liking this. Tell you what. I'm going to go and drive something diesel. I'm not in the mood for an electric. I need... Um, uh, I need something um, diseasily and loud, really. That's just way too quiet for my liking. What have we got? Um, I was going to do North Wales Co Coastal. Is it North Wales Coastal I was going to do earlier? Portsmouth Direct, wouldn't it? That's an emu, though. The emu done that. Simmering Barn, Dorset, Southland, then. That's an emu. 
I don't know. I should have really thought about this thing, shouldn't I? Let's get a standard. Um... Oh, it's the first one of the season for the Torbay Express. Make it make it a good one. A class fifty-five. Let's give that a go. Well, yeah, I just I want to make noisy. I didn't want to. Muck around with something electric. Oh, for God's sake. Yeah, give the author a, some feedback on the scenario. Yeah, rubbish is the word. Okay, let's replay that. Yeah, we're doing well. And now we haven't got a train. There is no train. So you won't do that one either. Ah, right scenario. Rubbish. Okay. We won't do the class 55 then. Uh, class 221. Let's do that. I just want something to make some noise. Make the noise. There we go. Right, open the doors. End the cab and press Shift and W to get the batteries going. Okay. Okay. Uh, when the TMS L3 alarm sounds, you'll need to cancel this by pressing TML L3 fault on the row of buttons to your left. Really? Please press the green engine start button to get the engines going. Another message will follow up in a couple of minutes once all systems are up and running. Oh, I've got to start the engines. We have smoke. Uh, that said healthy over there. I don't know if it's on about me or the train. Um, You don't think smoke's a good thing. It's a diseasel. Diseasels need smoke. Clem doors now. Yes, I can. Right, let the victims get on. Yeah, we definitely got some diseasel. What's what I don't know, what sort of journey is this then? Where are we going? Uh, Bristol meets Bedminster. Oh God! Uh, Parsons Green. Why is that colour so flipping hard to read? Uh, Nailsy and Backwell. Yatton. Western Super Mud. Well. Um, okay. Now let's turn out. Look, look for the switch. Move around to date. Wait, what? Do what? Where? How? Who? Stop beeping at me. Headlights. No, hang on. I'm still turning the bloody headlights. Hang on. And... Oh, God. 
Like, press the blue button or someone? No. Where's the radio? What did. Oh, there. That one? Boy, he sounds happy. <laughs> Press the array plunger so we can move. Who to where? Oh, that. Okay. Right, okay, driver, please press T to load passengers. We aren't due away till 906. I've already done that. <laughs> no comment there at all, Tux. So, yeah, a bit of a uh, glitchy start, but I forgot that the class 319 was an electric and I wanted something diseasedly and noisy. So we're due away in uh, two minutes' time. I really enjoyed the um, the Voyager we uh, used a couple of weeks ago. That thing sounded so nice. So no one wants to get on in, uh, I'm guessing this is first class. They've got a butler or something to open the doors. No, no, no. Why no, 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 Gas? Voyages do not sound nice. This this does, compared to the electrics. I like a good diesel rumble. Oh, see now that, now that that pleased me, because the engine note changed. Where are we driving next stop? Bedminster. All right, let's see how this thing sounds, then, shall we? Okay, we're not moving anywhere. What haven't I done? That thing's not in N, is it? Hang on. Oh, sod off you. Okay, why won't this thing now? It's in. I guess he wants to be in F, not N. I have broke the train already. I can't get that into what I'm guessing is forward. No matter what I do.
The reverse is in... And now I've got no brake pressure. Um, is it on? Yeah, I've got diesel smoke. It's on. Reverse is in forward. This thing's in F, which I'm guessing is for forward. No, brakes. It's one controller. Brake and... Uh, thing. There's nothing else I haven't turned on. Yeah, DRA's push to set, pull to release. That's set now. And that's released. Ah, well it worked going backwards then. There we go. I think it's a brake pressure thing. There we go. Now we have diesel noise. Time it's taken me to get the train to Bedminster. Um, they could have probably walked. It was my only comment with this train last time. I think it was too quiet in the cab. Hey, don't worry about stopping. Hang on, there's a light up there. It's green for me, that's fine. But yeah, it's very quiet in the cab. Out here, lovely. Does look nice as well. Right, we're approaching Bedminster. Anybody wants to get off at Bedminster, here it comes. Maybe they have super sound insulated. Which I imagine it will be fairly well insulated, but personally I wanna I wanna hear the uh, hear the engine. And why they couldn't put a little um, DMU on this little bit. I see, definitely not using all the platform, are they? I know, we'll put some barriers up. Well, that sounded nice. Ticking away. Okay, doors are open, apart from first class. Victims are getting on and off. And it should be a little bit more of a distance now to the next station. You can probably almost see where we've come from back there. Stop picking on Nightbot. He's doing no wrong. Right, next stop, Parson Street, 9-11. Well, I'm, I'm late for that, ain't I? It 
it is actually telling you subscribe it's telling you to subscribe to the youtube channel i should change it really to if you don't already please subscribe to the youtube channel Petey boy, good evening. There you go, see that sounds nice. I am actually doing surprisingly well. Breaking. There's definitely some breaking going on. There's more breaking. And we'll put a little bit more breaking on than that as well. Uh, maybe a bit more than that. Because otherwise they're not going to get on the train. Because most of it's going to be the other side of these barriers. Uh, well, it's only just on at the end, actually. Oh, that's not bad, is it? I am full of kebab and chips. Don meat and chips with uh, some very hot chilli sauce. So I'm very happy. And I've got some orange squash. Life is good. See, hey, that's pretty good. You can get straight off, straight up the stairs. Now, I, wow. I, I mean, I'm actually impressed with that. Right, next stop, Nelsie and Backwell, 917. Why have they put a train like this on this route? I know. I just don't care. It's Friday night. Yeah, it does sound good. Right, six miles now. Yeah, it's because it's Bristol, see, they've got to keep the crowds apart. Someone answer the phone. Why is Elton John sat over there? Apparently it's his coach C with Elton John in it. You think he'd be able to go in first class, wouldn't you? No, well, we're doing all right now, speed wise. But it's very quiet inside. Which is what you want. Tilting. Oh, it tilts. Tilting Super Voyager. Just in case the driver forgot what he was driving. Radio, telephone and train communication. Oh, we've got, let's get horny. Well, that's dire. Green light, thankfully, because I wasn't going to stop for that. Um, somebody put the kettle or charge our phone up in that, I should imagine. Why well, they haven't got a USB in there? Oh, it's the one with the clipboard light, isn't it? With nothing on the clipboard. Oh, hang on. Let me go reset that. I can't turn my clipboard light. Okay. <laughs> Easy to forget. Hey, what are you implying? Yeah, I... I I would have forgot what this is, actually, in all fairness. Oh, 
Well, it's doing all right speed wise now. Oh, slow down. Hundred miles an hour. Didn't we do this route before? I'm sure last time we did a journey that went to Western Supermare. We did. I'm sure last week with the journey we did went to Western Supermare because we went down to um, Exeter. I'm sure that was a thing. I need to plan these. Actually, I was going to do the Chilton Main Line, but I haven't got it installed. So uh, for next week's uh, train sim on Friday, I will try and plan a bit better. Yeah, last week I'm sure we went down to Exeter in the 166, wasn't it? Was that starting at? Um, I wasn't starting at Bristol though. I don't think, or was it? Oh, I don't know. That was a week ago. I can't remember things that far back. It's not like I watched it back on YouTube or anything. You did Western Main Lines last time, but that's the bottom alphabetically. This is the top. Okay. She came up to Exeter from Paynton. I thought I went to Western Supermare. Because I was commenting on... Yeah, because Chaos was in chat. Commenting on how it looked. Oh, shit. I'm not going to stop, am I? Yeah, stopping isn't going to be a thing here. Sorry, people. We've just gone sailing through the platform. Right away, mate. Next stop, yeah. And I haven't stopped at this one yet. We get to listen to it spool up again, I suppose, which is really nice. What do you mean you can't go back and stop once I've gone through? Where are these poor passengers I've just forgotten about? They won't show up here, I know. But I felt guilty about leaving them all stood there, so I'm giving him a fair opportunity to get on the train. Which I now can't put back into... The door's still open, yes they are. Haha, <laughs> hang on, I can't shut the doors now. There's again. It's going to be a break thing again now, isn't it? Hang on, doors are open again. Come on, doors, shut. I can't do it from inside. Is there a button? Um, right, doors. It's not going to let me go forward again, is it? There we go.
Right, yeah. Exactly, if you're not willing to take a risk and just grab hold of the, the door. We stopped. It's not going to count, but I, I, I will contest that. I will write to my MP. I stopped at that station. People got on and off. That should count. Blinky! Hello, dude. How you doing? Right, 3.4 miles. Someone remind me to stop. I hope you'll see him with a, with a 10 second delay. That could be interesting. Oh, someone's got his... See, El Elton's still there. I wonder where he's going. Sing us a song. Yeah, stop. It's pointless to be stopping now. It's a bit. I know I like to break early, but you know. Oh, we got a thing. It did a beepy thing. Was oh, this my consist? I can touch it. What does it do? I'm not going to touch it in case something happens. No, I'm not going to do it. But I want it. To... Oh, nothing happens. Damn it. Not very good reception, is it? It's quite hissy. Right, we've got a single yellow. So the next one could be red. It could not be red. It might be purple. Or any other colour. Uh, Tilark. Tilark? Tilard. Tilard. I can't pronounce that. That's some words. There's a T in there. A couple of L's and a 1993. Are you a Till? Are you an old-fashioned Till? Are you a Till in the dark but can't spell? My next stop is Cheltenham Spa, but I can't take a screenshot because it's dark. Well, so because it's dark, it st stops you having the ability to take a screenshot. Uh, I'm doing well. I'm in a slightly odd mood. Uh, Tilla DK. Uh, okay, that's a, that's a thing then. Oh, we should be doing a breaking thing again. Lots of braking. More braking. It's probably too much braking now. Oh, look at that. Nearly all the train got on the platform as well. I, I, I should get a medal. Go me. So we were due here at 9.23. It's 9.27. That's not bad. I didn't choose to ignore you, I just... Well, yeah, I did choose to ignore you. We're there within four minutes of the time we should be there. I, I, I'd take that as a win, really. Don't forget to stop here. <laughs> we're driving again. Oh, we're going to go into the loop here to let a down HST pass. Oh, I see. He's more important than me, is he? But we get to hear HST. I 
everyone's more important than me. Yeah, thank you, um, Tux. Oh, God, this thing sounds nice. Well, it's two tracks. Why couldn't he just pass on one of the other tracks? I just think that I'm going to write and complain. And add it to my list of things to write and complain to my MP about. The fact that reversing up to a station doesn't count. And the fact that I've got to let an older train go past. Definitely, this is. There's. Hang on, can I come out at the other end? Well, I've got reverse, surely, because that won't end well. See, if I just go really slowly, surely he could come past. So it works in it. They just overtake. What line is this? I can't remember. No, it's not Great Western. I just picked it at random. Okay. <laughs> right now, so we'll just sit here and wait. So you've got a red light. Spells danger, apparently. Yeah, I know I've got to stop. I've got to wait for the HST. Which is due when the time that thing. Why shouldn't I on? You don't get that dip. I would have sat here until the light went green. So, logically, you know, I know I'm a bit thick, you know. You're all going to agree. Um, I'm waiting for HST. It, open the map. What's the map key? It's not M. Um, I would have waited for HST to come past and then I would have waited for the lights to turn green before I went. I don't need the little... Bar Hang on. Yes, thank you, Tux. Um, so I would have waited. The light went green. I would have gone. So we're now due at World at 9.34. So we're due at World in th three minutes. Doesn't it say on the F1 thing what map this is? Um, left with the orange arrow on it. That. Uh, it says task list. There's the HST. So now when he passes the next signal that should go yellow if you're four minutes late if you're on time you won't be a conflict there goes your medal I guess medal give me a medal I want a medal right now I'm waiting for this to change <laughs> Come on, he must be miles away by now. Oh, there we go. We got yellow. Okay. See, I watched the UK signalling video. So we join the main line again. Still he's a bit of a cheek expecting us to stop. Why they couldn't have just put him over onto that line and take the risk of someone coming the other way? Oh shit, I'm speeding. Ten mile separation. Uh, depends how far apart the signals are. As long as he's one clear signal length in front. Or two, really. Oh, that goes to 100. You scumbag game.
Well, it's a still river. Elton still sat there. Oh my god! Oh, hang on. I had a AWS warning then. It's definitely very quiet in the cab. It's frozen. Let it go. Let it, no, okay. Right, two miles to go to Whirl. And then see if we can stop uh, roughly where we should be stopping. Oh, trying to go another way. Just don't. What? Stop. Or sing. We can take requests. Right, mile and a half. I'm going to start slowing down. Was that red? Don't think. Hmm, I'm not sure. Yeah, stop. Yeah, thanks, Pete. I'm probably a bit too early now. To whirl we come. A really good place to be. And we're going to be roughly with all the train on the track. On the track, on the platform. Donkey. How far away was it the other end? Oh, but bad they can get off. Well, there. It'll be a walk and then get off there. It's fine. It would have all got on anyway. I don't think. It's my excuse anyway. Right. Where's next? Western Supermare, maybe. Western Super Mud at 9.41. Yeah, that ain't going to happen really, is it? Yeah, just put a bent to the platform a bit. Just a bit of scaffolding down there. You get some trains where it tells you to be in a certain carriage to get off. If I'm driving, to chance it be in the middle got more of a chance of getting off in the middle um, middle carriage than you have anywhere else the duck under the bridge oh we've got a 40 coming up here let's up it down again
That was definitely a red. Mm. I've just overshot. Well, I've overshot it once. May as well carry on now. Pablo D'Souza. Good evening. So we're going to go off down the spur here now to uh, Western Super Mud. Yeah, I didn't see any ducks under there either. It's comedy with a delay. It's quite amusing. I'm sure we came down this route last time. I should really pay more attention to signals. That's two red lights I've run so far. And I think I ran the same red light last time. Yeah, I've travelled up and down to Western Supermare on trains a lot. Uh, you've never done Scotland. Furthest north I've been on a train is Birmingham. Right, 1.8 miles to uh, Western Super Mud. Well, someone's got to be in Newcastle, I guess. So what's this station here? Why aren't we stopping here? This isn't up here, is it? This is... Um uh, the station with no name that I can't read. Yeah, I've worked it out. This is Bristol to Exeter, which is a cut-down version of Western Main Lines at Dovetail Game Cell. So it's the same scenario on technically a different route. Ah, okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll install the Chilton um, Main Line over the weekend, and we'll do that next Friday. And I might do some Train Sim World the Friday after. And then the Friday after that I won't be streaming at all. Yeah, no, a bit on a cross-country train. Well, it's Great Western where I am now. GWR. Yeah, I did slow down well too. So we were due in at 9.41. It's 9.42. That's not bad. It says 9.44 we're going to arrive, but it's not bad. I'll take that. Tough if I don't really. You could do an IRL rambling stream. Uh, I will be recording some um, content while I'm away. Uh, I did do some vlogging last year when I was down in the New Forest. Um, but I'm actually investing in a little GoPro -y type thing. Since when's a train in the UK, everyone on time. Well, exactly. seen on is it Japanese trains that if the trains are like more than 45 seconds late or something or minute late that they will give you a little ticket to give to your employer to explain why you were late it's like that's pretty good going really on the Shinkansen and stuff because they haven't got to worry about leaves on the line I suppose Right, Western Super Mud. We have arrived. You still not made it to Cheltenham. I uh, made it to Western Super Mare.
so yeah three weeks time um may or may not be a does japan not have leads no they're banned in japan um because they're inefficient um there may be some away for uh five days over the weekend um might be a stream from uh the darkest depths of the new forest if i can get wi-fi but it won't be a gaming stream we drive we're due out in four minutes we need to get to work on changing ends instructions to follow what i've got to change ends um okay first ensure the brakes on turn the dra on set the reverse off turn on the tail lights press shift and w to remove the master key and press control and plus change there well, that's a lot of things right brakes are on that's to that dra is to that uh lights was to um tail that was it wasn't it and then press the that one to change ends okay and now okay now if you to check with it simple means make sure you have your day lights on okay so daylights are on dra is off master key is on That goes to forward. And whirl in three miles. And off we go. Oh, see, I can do this. back to world we go part of 945 and head for world wing of due at 949 ah well I was overdue so that's fine see the, the joys of being late and speeding um, I could just jump in and go So back up this where are we going then? If I go back up the same line again, hang on. Well, and then Yatton, Nailsy, and Pacquarel. So we're going back to Bristol Temple Meads. So we're doing the bit we just did, but in reverse again. What okay, so this was a um Western Supermare and back. Well it's a it's a thing, I suppose. What time are we due back in? How long is this gonna take? So nine forty seven. 10.17, so we've got another half an hour. In that case, then I'll probably end up just doing this scenario for tonight. Uh, that's a 60, isn't it? Oh, I do like this thing. You can't tell me that doesn't sound nice. In both ears. There you go. Have it in stereo. Right, we've got a full teeth, then a hundred, then a platform. It doesn't sound... It, what do you mean it doesn't sound... Well, you're old and got no hearing, so what do you know? Oh, 
Right, slow down to 40 because it's probably someone like Gaz um, stood on the side of the uh, the track having a tea break. He said I could say that, so I did. Fair enough. I've got a real urge to drive a pacer. I know I shouldn't, but I just, well, yeah. I just, I just wanted to admit that in public, out there, for the world. Well, Gaz works for Network Rail, so um, he's normally stood by the side of the track, smoking on his phone and drinking coffee. I think that's all he does. Oh, what's that? Is that a 166? It is a 166. That's what we drove last week. Right, so four, 40 miles to go? No, 0.4 of a mile to go. Well, I can talk about Gaz because he's not watching at the moment. I always know he's usually sitting in his van smoking, drinking. Yeah, well, okay, good point. Or sleeping, allegedly. <clears throat> allegedly. Right, anyway, here's our station. Whirly gig. Boots off and feet on the dashboard. Exactly. Well, he does tux. He's uh, he's a single man again now. As of today. Anyway, we shouldn't talk about him. He's not here. Right. So, world is done. Nailsy and Backwell, I think, wouldn't it? Is next. Well, the Nailsy and Backwell makes you think of Bakewell. Next stop, Yatton. Well, I got that wrong, didn't I? PD boy, thank you very, very much, sir. Uh, is much appreciated. Exactly, Mr. Kipling, Bakewell Tarts. Mm. Ten bits for stopping at the platform. <laughs> Is that like giving a dog a treat? He stopped at the platform. Yay! Bakewell pudding. No, bakes the Bakewell tart. It says so on the box and everything. There we go. If you are watching uh, and you haven't already, just to annoy Tux, uh, the link is there to join the Discord server. Um, unfortunately, Tux uh, is in Discord. Um, but, you know, that shouldn't stop you wanting to join it. Oh, you can't beat a good tart. <laughs> Mr. Kipling was illiterate. Well, he didn't know how to spell pudding, so he just put tart. Okay, we now need to know, and I don't know this, what's the difference between a pudding and a tart, then? Apart from the makeup and the suspenders, I'm guessing, but but that's less about what Tux is wearing right now. I don't know why I was going quite so slowly. Is that what John's still on there? He's doing a whole round trip, and he? he's doing a bit. He's going to meet fans at Western Supermare. Now he's going back again. Is this a tea debate or everything? No, I just don't know. What's the difference between a tart and a pudding? The tea debate is uh, putting milk in first is correct. 
that's all I'm going to say. We'll move on from that. Uh, that bridge looks really close to the side of the track. Well, you want to have your head stuck out. It looks like from the young ones. Right, two and a half miles to go to Yatton. Tart is a pastry cup. A pudding, Bakewell tart is different. Is different to Bakewell pudding. Bakewell tart is a short crust pastry case followed by a strawberry jam and topped with almond sponge. Yeah. So what's a Bakewell pudding then? Was this turning into a cookery stream? A tart wears too much makeup and a pudding is fat and frumpy. Well, you could be both then, Tux. You could be a tarty pudding. Braking. Definitely doing some braking. <laughs> Where's Nigella? Mm, Nigella. That's a, a lot of braking is going on now. That's a, a, a lot more breakings going on now. Yeah, we do like Nigella. We we approve. Throw the anchor out the window. Oh, I just love to rev this thing up. It sounds so nice. You like Nutella? Get out. nearly on time as well and still these two front doors don't open and that's look at that that's on the platform and everything yeah i don't do peanuts or peanutty tasting things so yeah i guess i'm on my own with that one right next one's going to be nailsy and backwell possibly maybe could be Slightly. Nails in Backwell, due at 10.02. Okay. Listen for the noise. Oh, that's too good. Uh, and I tell her it's hazelnuts. It's still nutty. I don't do nuts. Uh, front doors didn't open because to pass the end of the platform on the hood. Oh, for God's sake. Exactly. It takes the... If you think you're going to stop on the platform every time, where's the interest in that? Where's the fun? Wait till tomorrow when we're racing in Forza Horizon 4. That's going to be hilarious. It's the first time I say station has seen it. No, I stopped there on the way down. Was that the one I overshot? I can't remember. There was some stoppage going on there of, of some sort. Yeah, I did stream it last Saturday, didn't I? But the Xbox Live wasn't working, so I couldn't connect to anybody else. Uh, I'm actually going to try and install it back on the PC tomorrow. Um, and try it with the controller via the PC. Um, 
and we'll see if that works. So I'm going to do that in the morning. And yes, so tomorrow night be some multiplayer action on uh, Forza Horizon 4. I'm really looking forward to that. Bing. What could possibly go wrong exactly? Uh, all sorts of cars. Um, depends what sort of races we're doing. Um, last time I was on a cross country, he overshot more per station, used to wet leaves apparently, had to wait 15 minutes for permission to reverse. Yeah, Blinky, it is awesome. Very, very addictive, and I'm going to overshoot this station. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to doing some multiplayer. I think there's only a six people, six person limit there on the multiplayer, isn't there? Which is a bit of a pain. For the races or a convoy or something, isn't it? Six people. Right, into Nelsie and Backwell we come. Oh, six for Carp, 12 for first person versus person. Oh, that's cool then. Can't be getting to a server on our own. No, we can we can get it eventually so that we're all on the same server. That That's easy, I think. Go done. Ah, the open this time, and they didn't. Damn it! <laughs> I haven't yet had it where all the doors have opened. But I pulled it further forward. Actually, there's a lot of platform I could have gone to, wouldn't it? But oh well, I just got excited and braked. These people are thinking, "Hang on, I'm all the way up here. The train's all the way down there." So yeah, so that's tomorrow night, uh, and then Sunday Sunday afternoon is going to be some more flight sim uh, multiplayer, carrying on from where we were last week in the Canary Islands. So uh, still a couple of streams to come. What's the time? Twenty-five to eight. We might do another short journey after this one. We shall see. And tomorrow night, maybe stick a bit of music on as well. So a bit of a music and racing stream tomorrow and a bit of Forza Horizon. And then um, next Saturday, go back and do a bit of Euro trucking. Uh, yes, and tourist bus is about to get very interesting over the next few weeks as well. Can't see any more than that. But, um, yeah. Next stop, Bristol Temple Meads, due there at 10.16. So we're bypassing... We're bypassing um, Bedminster this time, man. Yeah, we have missed you, Liam. Of course we have. Um, yeah, tomorrow during the daytime, I'm going to try and work out with um, Larwood, hopefully, uh, how I can get um, 
Xbox chat through the mixer and through um, so that people on Xbox can hear Discord. That's going to be my only issue. I think I can do it. Right, eight miles, seven miles to go. Just about well, nearly eight miles to go until we get to Bristol Temple Meads. I do like this thing. I don't know I was going quite so slowly. Mm, Elton's still here. He looks happy. So it's the same. I know it's slightly louder in the carriage. Okay. Right, six miles. I haven't seen it tilt yet. This is tilting Super Voyager. I think it's because we haven't had the uh, the line speed, I suppose, to make it tilt. And I don't know why they put this thing on this line. A little DMU could have done that. Backwards and forwards to Western Super Mud. There's not really been uh, a lot of speed that this thing's got up to. But hey, it's been interesting to drive. It does sound nice. We'll see if, uh, if we can find another short scenario uh, to do on the same line after this one. Yeah, cheers, Liam. Have a good night. There are a lot of DMUs that do 100. Yeah, I suppose. Do you think it's because of the line speed then that they've had to put this thing on there, not a DMU? Otherwise, they put a DMU on it, hold up the 125s and stuff going up and down to uh, Exeter and Penzance. <laughs> a pacer wouldn't do 100. I think it'd rattle itself to pieces. Slow ourselves down to 90. Just to be getting a bit of speed up as well. <laughs> it made the, So that's the 143. I can't remember what line I've got. I've got a line. I really fancy driving a pacer now. Um, is it Wales? Um, I, might, I think probably I might not have reinstalled it when I had the PC issue. Um, yeah, I don't think I've got the pacer installed. There's the 166. I don't think I've got the line installed. Wasn't it the one that went to um, Minehead? That had the pacer on. That was the Riviera line. Because I got really nervous to drive the pacer. This is just a disease or fun stream now, after the initial chaos of the electrics. Right, 2.8 miles to go, I don't know I'm going so slow. I thought I was going to stop at that station coming up on the uh, map. Electric for the win. It's just, from my point of view, from an audio uh, perspective, um, and from watching the stream and watching a video perspective, it's just not as engaging, I don't think, as a diesel. Because there's noise going on with the diesel. And you don't get that with an electric. Although the one I drove the other week, was it the 1.7, class 1.7 something, I want to say? That actually sounded really nice for an electric. 
it didn't sound like an electric. So this is Parson Street. We're not stopping here. We've got 25 coming up. Yeah, they do make some noise, but it's just not as nice a noise as the um, as diesel makes, that's all. Alright, 25 coming up. That train was there on the way through, he's been waiting there a while. we stopped here on the way down and I've worked just up there somewhere Bedminster train station where's the road the road going to leave here somewhere just up there somewhere I think all right and into British Temple means we come yeah, I just like an old diesel, diesel noise. That's uh, um, the same in X plane. I just love the sound of um, the prop stuff and the sound of the engines. It sounds all part of it to me. You know, in Omsi, I like the sound of the old buses, and in Train Sim, I like the sound of the old trains, and it's just all about the um, whole audio experience. So we're coming to Bristol, finish this, see if we can find something um, about half an hour in something else this easily. So we've got a single yellow, which means the next one probably will be red. And there's no AWS. So yeah, tomorrow night then is going to be Forza uh, for a couple of hours. Do a bit of Forza Horizon 4. And then uh, Sunday afternoon will be some more flying around the Canaries in, uh, in X-Plane. So uh, just a bit of single player tonight, some multiplayer tomorrow night. And a bit more multiplayer on Sunday afternoon. And if you haven't seen last Sunday's uh, Flying Around the Canaries, that's going to be up on YouTube uh, tomorrow. Or if you're watching this on YouTube, it was up last Saturday. We should have smells these games. Smell of a hot air cooled en aircraft engine. Mm. Oh, yeah. I need to put a link actually to a video I watched last night on YouTube. Um, I'll put that in a Discord server uh, after this. For should remember. Right, and in we come then. Brizzle Temple Meads. Open them doors. All right, once that comes up then that'll be finished and we'll see if we can find a little half an hour route or something somewhere else but something this easily this thing just sounds so nice
PD boy, thank you very much. I do appreciate that. Thank you. 20 bits. Thank you. That is awesome. That's what the engine revs changed. That's pretty cool. That reminds me of Farm Sim. Um, the few people in Discord have slated the way that Farm Sim's done, but I like it when you engage some equipment in Farm Sim and the engine revs drop. That's just so nice. Yeah, okay, I was speeding three times and I passed a signal at danger twice, but not about that. <clears throat> That's fine. Um, so, that, yeah, that was Bristol to Exeter. Um, so, what are we saying? The. Um, not the Isle of Widget, West Coast Mainline, Western Mainlines. That's what we did last time. Um, it must be a career one then, is it? West Coast Mainline, Wakayama, Isle of Widget. Again, South Wales, South London, Simmering Barn, the Riviera Line, Class 143. Um, let's do that. Drive the first refurbished Class 143 uh, to Dawlish to see how the commuters like and look and feel. Let's do that. A little 20 minute run in a 143 and then uh, we'll finish off. Because, you know, why not? It's a 143. So a completely different uh, level of train from a, a state-of-the-art modern uh, Voyager to uh, what is basically a bus. Oh, hang on. we got a publisher weekend up to 60% off. What is that this weekend? Look at that. Right, drive this brand new class 143 on the 1459 passenger service down to Dawlish. This will be the first, the commuter's first lot time on this service. So make sure you're out to please everyone. Good luck. Yeah, because it's a 143. I'm guessing we've got to let them on. Uh, let me just take a. Cheeky screenshot. There we go. Yeah, brand new. 40 years old new. Oh, it's got new seats. Wow, look at it. It's just so modern and everything. Maximum speed, 75 miles an hour. Oh, I looked away for two minutes and you switched to OMSI. <laughs> it is pretty much a bus. Wow. Right, timeliness bonus. I've done anything. Look at it in all its. Oh, look at the. T there's two icons there, look. Wow. <laughs> it is a bus. But it still sounds quite nice. That's technically just on tick over. Actually, it doesn't sound as nice as the Voyager. Another one coming the other way as well.
Right, Exton St Thomas Station in half a mile. It'd be great if you get announcements from your um, your regular commuter on a run like this, and it's like, yeah, we've got brand new trains coming. Starting next Monday morning, you'll be in a brand new train, and a pacer pulls up. You'd feel really hard done by, wouldn't you? Be like, oh, for God's sake. It's just a bit... Imagine if you're the driver that drives the Voyager and then has to drive this. It's like, oh, what, what have I done wrong? Sorry, boss. I won't do it again, boss. Oh, the brakes sound nice. We got staggered platform as well. It's just a bit. I, I can't think of a word to explain it. I both love it and hate it at the same time. Nice cloud effects. She can park it down there in one of those. Again, I don't get in uh, some of these towns. I know these stations must be used, but we got main exit to train station, and then we've got this extra St Thomas, less than a mile away. Surely, people can travel a mile to that train station. And we're not moving. Oh, yes, we are. Wow. Uh, the funniest thing is when we sold a load to third world countries, those countries have already replaced them and we haven't. I watched the um, Chris Tarrant's thing, um, Extreme Railways, Monday night, Tuesday night, whatever it was, out in Spain. And I didn't realise that Spain has five different gauges uh, to their railway network. And it, there was a really cool bit of kit where a, a train travelled through this like train shed and it changed the width of the, the, uh, the wheels so that it can go from one gauge to another gauge and they did it whilst the train was moving that was pretty cool that was quite impressive well flat out this thing is so slow it's definitely not voyager fast is it Yeah, check out, I think it's Channel 5 it was on, uh, Chris Tarrant Extreme Railways um, in Spain this week. Um, not only was it interesting, but um, it's the second one of the series, something like that. Third one of the series. Yeah, it actually saw a train go through at like 10 kilometers an hour or something, but it moved the, it unlocked the wheels move them and then lock them again and uh, yeah quite cool to see it done so if you're into trains I can highly recommend watching it and the first week he did uh, was up in the uh, up in the Alps that was pretty cool this is like the fifth season now he's done there's been some really interesting train journeys one of which 
Um, it was up in the... I can't remember where it was. It wasn't the Philippines. It's somewhere where basically the train was an old Mercedes minibus that with you know steering wheel still in place uh, and they just fitted um, a train axle to it. And at one point it couldn't get up a hill. So people, the people were out the side. I think it was that. The people were outside pushing it. So uh, yeah, that was really interesting stuff. Uh, evening, Sam. Welcome to the world of the Pacer. Right, five miles to go to Star Cross. So we're still accelerating from when we left the station, what, two miles ago? Yeah, I've seen that in Russia. They used to do that with the Orient Express as well, going over to different gauges, which they used to in Spain. They used to have to literally because um, it's a Spain and French border uh, but it's that abandoned railway station that was abandoned from the Second World War um, was it Spain and France? somewhere Spain, Spain and somewhere and um, they used to have to either swap bogies to so lift the train up put the new bogies under it um, but this bit of kit now it does it whilst it's on the move that's really cool Wow, this thing is so slow. Seems two miles an hour. Four miles to go to Star Cross. You wouldn't want to do a long journey in this, would you? It's got a toilet and everything the window blocked out it's like yeah we, we got a fit of toilet yeah just block out the window it'll be fine oh no we got 75 mile an hour limits coming up we're gonna have to slow down It doesn't sound like a train, does it? I don't know what it sounds like. Longest I've been on a pacer is four. I've never been on a pacer. I want to go on a pacer. After seeing all the stations um, last year, and obviously using them in this now, I really want to travel on a pacer. Before there isn't any. There's a few up, up north, I think. Emergency brake. Why you put the emergency brake on? Oh, I forgot. I've got to accelerate again now. Yeah, I don't know why Vicky loves it so much. Well, that's going to slow us down. Um, no, I was over in Northern Ireland um, in August, and did, we went through the one of the lines they're going to go on, and it was an awesome. Uh, the um, uh, the train went right along the coast and we were actually above some tunnels where the train came out from a tunnel below us and and then I took a view between two tunnels um, I should really post the pictures up on Discord um, really looking forward to doing that bit of line because it was stunning it was up near uh, Portreath uh, Port, no, Port Rush, Port Rush um, up in Northern Ireland and uh, yeah it was a brilliant um brilliant bit of scenery the train was going through so we were stood above it when it was going through the tunnel below us uh, and then we went down to the level it was on which is a bit of a trek and then it's just um, track uh, tunnel either side to left and right 
and then the other side of the track was the sea and uh, yeah stunning so yeah really looking forward to that yeah I'll, uh, if i remember I'll, I'll post a picture up on um up on discord in the train section Right, Starcross coming up. I mean, that was a little DMU of some sort. We hung around trying to get the train coming through the uh, through the tunnel. And we did, we saw it, I got a picture of it coming out of the tunnel. We were just waiting. Because it wasn't really uh, that frequent a service. Shit, it's separate break, isn't it? I'm thinking, why am I breaking? Oh, listen to that diesel clatter. So we'll finish this journey. And then I'll uh, call it a day for uh, today. A couple of hours it'll be. And then back for a bit longer tomorrow night. And then back again on Sunday afternoon. I might possibly do something tomorrow afternoon, depending on what, uh, what I'm doing. Uh, I'll put the magic brake on again. I'm a donut. To go in that slowly and I still couldn't stop the flipping thing. I am that good. I'm uh, yeah I'm not just rubbish at some games, I'm pretty bad at all of them, so at least I'm consistent. And at least I got on the platform. Exactly. See there's there's a win-win there. And the train didn't catch fire. Well, wait till you see the, the flying on Sunday. My summer car fan. Man that likes Fortnite. Good uh, evening. And yeah, doing brilliantly, thank you. Um, yeah, we did some flying last week. And um, Captain Chaos was with us. Uh, first landing, he landed a runway. And caught fire. Uh, second landing, he landed on the runway, um, but skidded off the end of it into the water. And the third landing, he, he landed on the runway, didn't catch fire, but had the parking brake on. Uh, so when he landed, he came to a pretty abrupt stop. So you've got that to look forward to on Sunday afternoon's uh, flight stream, where we're flying around the Canaries uh, in little Cessna 172s. Uh, I don't know, his uh, propeller came off. Um, I think the thing nosedived and he had smoke coming out. So, yeah, that was quite entertaining. That's going to go up on the uh, on YouTube tomorrow. And uh, we'll be doing more of it again on uh, Sunday afternoon. Uh, a couple of times a week, uh, a few of us get together and do some uh, multiplayer flying. Um, so it was, uh, yeah, really, really good fun. Really getting into train sim again. Um... And uh, really getting in a flight, uh, into flight. It's a shame because I should be doing stuff with uh, tourist bus, and I haven't. So I need to do it, spend a couple of hours on that tomorrow as well. At some point, I need longer weekends. Right, Dawlish Warren, in 1.3 miles, and a little pacer. Love the way it sounds and smokes. And there's going to be a continuation of my um, Forza Racing series uh, on YouTube. I'll record a couple more of those at some point. Um, 
and uh, yeah doing up the Morris Minor and racing it some interesting um, stuff coming up over the next uh, five weeks in that already got those recorded and if that proves to be successful uh, then I want to carry that on with either a bit of uh, multiplayer racing um, or do up another car so yeah I don't think I haven't got anything um, exciting going on with at the moment is OMSI there's nothing OMSI is there's nothing with OMSI at the moment there's plenty of flights to keep me going there's plenty of train sim to keep me going um, but nothing with OMSI Oh God, Chaos is here. Nothing, it didn't, wasn't talking about your landings at all, Chaos. Yep. Yeah, um, yeah, OMSI is what started to build my YouTube channel. And I, I really do enjoy OMSI, but there's nothing new. There's no new maps, there's no new buses. Um, there's no uh, no new content. Oh, I might stop a bit short. Oh, yeah, no, platform's all done there. It's fine. There you go. Thank you, Peely Boy. How far are we going? Is it just Dorlis Warren? Well, Dor Dorlis? Dorlish Warren. I can't remember how far we're supposed to be going. I mean, you're like listening to these absurd remarks. Not that there's any proof on the uh, on the video that's going out tomorrow or anything. Chaos is there? Ha <laughs> ha! She missed the train. Right, Dawlish in one point six miles. Right, it's twenty five down here. Make sure I only do twenty five. It was edited. <laughs> oh, live on the flight. Yeah, everyone knows I don't edit anything. There's no editing involved in any of my videos. It's all raw. What you see is what you get. I think Dawlish is our final stop. It is. And then we will end uh, end the stream there. So may jump on and do something tomorrow afternoon, depending on how my day goes. Um, but certainly back tomorrow night with some uh, Forza Horizon 4, uh, a bit of multiplayer racing. And then uh, Sunday afternoon with some flying. I don't know why I keep slowing down. Why am I slowing down? Yeah, I've never done this bit of coastline on a train. Again, that's something I've always wanted to do. I've never been all the way down to Penzance on a train. I just imagine that would be a really, really enjoyable journey. Something I might do over the summer. Um, it's probably only a couple of hour journey for me, so I could probably do Penzance, uh, Penzance by train and back in a day, it'd be quite a nice day out. A day on the train. And there's the odd direct one from, uh, from Swindon as well. Did I just men's pants? Penzance. As in the place, as in Cornwall. Penzance. Not men's pants. So 
So you'll be coming to Dawlish then. There we go, open the doors and let the last of the victims on and off. So there we are, a bit of Voyager uh, fun, really enjoyed the Voyager. A um, bit of initial um, uh, issues getting an electric uh, train going and then finishing it off with a pacer. What a better way to do than to finish it off on the English Riviera, uh, which is more talky really than Dawlish, I suppose, but okay, uh, the English South Coast then. Uh, in a pacer. Well done driver, seems to be a lot of talking between the commuters, let's hope it's all positive. It won't be. Um, regarding the look and feel of the refurbishment, you provided a nice run for them. Well they probably wish they had a run rather than um, come by train. Um, so I got 874 for that. Actually I scored zero. The highest I've got on that is 874. Captain Chaos, who's there, uh, has scored 897. Bob, 970. End quarters, 973. Larwood has scored 1000. Uh, Graham scored a thousand and Liam who was in chat earlier uh, scored a thousand as well um, so uh, yeah I'm pretty rubbish compared to those and yeah I applied the emergency brake a bit um, yes thank you Pablo I saw that you only followed on Twitch today thank you very much for that um, I said tomorrow night it'll be some multiplayer so it'll be me and some of these rep reprobates um, in, uh, in voice as well as um, uh, on the stream so doing a bit of multiplayer forza with a bit of music as well so completely different to this but uh, i'm making friday nights a bit of an end of the week chill out single player something it won't always be train sim uh, might do something else as well um but some single player stuff on a friday um and then say so tomorrow night it'd be some multiplayer something and then sunday afternoon it'd be a bit of um a bit of multiplayer flying um and yes you joined um discord today as well so you, you, you're everywhere today uh, hopefully you subscribed on uh, on YouTube as well. So yes, Captain Chaos will be joining us hopefully Sunday afternoon for some more flying around the Canaries. Um, along with, I'm sure it'll be um, Chris Brown uh, from Discord. And um, see if we can get Sam um, and maybe even Tux, who was here earlier, um, to join us as well on Sunday. So there we go. I will end that there because I'm going to go off and watch the Grand Tour now because I haven't seen it yet. Um and uh, yeah back possibly tomorrow afternoon if i'm free and i can think of something to stream but certainly back uh, tomorrow night thanks everybody for the follows thank you very much pd boy for the bits uh much appreciated um and yeah thanks to all that's chatted and watched and abused and um done everything else and i will catch you uh, tomorrow have a great night everybody good night <laughs>